this is Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I see my man Boxing Beats and Rhymes posed a question. Is Anthony Joshua more popular than Deontay Wilder in America? And then I've seen uh, from my people I'm subscribed to, I've seen a lot of videos made. Uh, let me just scroll down here. So Boxing Beats and Rhymes started. I see Dream Chase and Boxing uploaded a video about it. Uh, let me see here. Just scrolling. Black Five Fan TV put up a response. H Money put up a response. So a few people responded. Oh, Blood Boxing just put up a video five minutes ago. I'm going to check that one out. So I haven't got to watch everybody's video on it, man. Just want to get my fresh opinion from just watching Boxing Beats and Rhymes, all right? Um, is he more popular? Well... First, let me start off by saying this. I think it was, man, was it a few days before the Klitschko fight that Joshua had? Or maybe a few days after the fight. I'm sitting here watching TV, and I meant to do a video about it. It just, I'm reminded by it now, but I just forgot about it. I'm watching TV, and I see Anthony Joshua in a commercial. And I'm sitting here like, but it was a non-speaking commercial. I believe it was the uh, Dre Beats, and he was like running, or I think he was shadow boxing. Dre Beats is huge over here. Dr. Dre, you know, from the West Coast. So I've never seen Deontay Wilder in a commercial like that. Now, I know he's probably been in commercials, probably more regional commercials, or maybe he has been in uh, major commercials and I missed them. So that I was like, damn, OK, you know, but besides that, though, in America, no, in my opinion, he's not more popular than Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has been on shows like uh, Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. I've seen Deontay Wilder give uh you know, like motivational speeches to college teams. I know he was at North Carolina State, their basketball team. I know he was there for their uh, Midnight Madness. I believe it was their Midnight Madness. Last, uh, the start of last year. I've seen him, uh, I know there's a few NFL teams. He like went in their locker room talking. And this, I know there's probably other shit that I'm leaving out too that I didn't see. Um, so... And Alabama college football is huge. And whenever you can rival Alabama college football in that state of Alabama, I'm not saying he's as popular as uh, the Alabama uh, college football, but he is somebody else that they can look to because that shit in Alabama, at least from the outside looking in, it seems as if college football is everything there. You know, so at least Wilder can rival that somewhat. All right, somewhat. All right, kind of similar to... Uh, because you know, Alabama has no pro sports teams, but it's kind of similar to, similar to what my man Terrence Crawford is doing down there in Nebraska. Nebraska is huge with their college football, man, huge. So to even, you know, bring attention elsewhere other than a football team is a good is a great accomplishment, in my opinion. Uh, I think internationally, I think Joshua is probably more popular than Deontay Wilder because of that. But the question is here in America. But because of that Klitschko win, I think that is even, uh, you know, some of the American fans are like, damn, he beat Klitschko or that's the dude that beat the Klitschko dude. You know what I mean? But as far as popularity, nah, man. I think uh, Deontay Wilder is more popular here. Uh, I know him and Gerald Washington. I know it was on free TV, but that did some pretty decent numbers. Uh, now, does this mean that Deontay Wilder is known everywhere? No, I mean, there's a lot of athletes. I mean, you guys have seen those... Uh, those like skits that are on all over the internet. I think I seen one with DJ Khaled, right? And you would think DJ Khaled is known everywhere, but I think DJ Khaled had like a, a baseball hat pulled down kind of over his eyes and he's driving in the car and he's talking about himself, but the passenger doesn't, he's like an Uber driver or something. The passengers don't know. You guys have seen that all the time. There was even here in my state, there was one of the uh, Minnesota twin dudes that went around doing it. It was like a prank for the news. No hat, no disguise. He's out there talking to people about the twins, and they're like, "Yeah, the the twins uh pitching sucks and blah blah blah." And they're sitting there talking to one of the ace pitchers. You know what I mean? Um, now some people may say all oh, those things are set up, but nah, man. Sometimes people they just don't recognize people when they're up close, man. So it doesn't surprise me if Wilder walks down. Uh, I know Shannon Briggs was getting on a one time about him walking down the street. Nobody knew who he was in New York. Well, shit, he's from Alabama, man. You know, uh, and everybody's not going to have that that presence and that aura of Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. That's that's special, man. Like guys that have that, they're special where they can go anywhere in the world. You know, what I mean, 
that's just some special type shit. That's just some other, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I, mean, I think Deontay Wilder is a lot more popular here in America. You know what I mean? AJ's doing his thing out there, and that's and that's cool, man. But here in America, uh, Deontay Wilder is by far the more popular guy. Um, again, like I said, man, I've seen him talk to NFL teams, uh, college basketball teams. He's been on different shows. So you're not going to be, uh, you know, you, you can't get in those type of situations not being known. You know what I mean? They're not just going to bring Joe Schmo in and have him talk to their NFL teams or their college basketball teams. You know what I mean? It's just not going to happen. So I'm going to listen to everybody else's videos, man. Shout out to my man, Boxing Beats and Rhymes, for posing that question. I just want to get in on the action. You know, being a, the heavyweight division is pretty much all I cover. You know what I mean? So just want to give my two cents, man, for whatever it's worth. I'm out.